after the 44 days of war, uh, the region of the Caucasus has changed. And Azerbaijan also suggested to Armenia to start the process of normalization relations. And the first step in that direction is started from uh, negotiations for uh, the potential peace treaty between Armenia and Azerbaijan, recognizing one another's territorial integrity and sovereignty and inviolability of borders. In parallel to this process, and Turkey, Armenia, and I also started certain contacts at the level of the diplomats. Uh, we support that process, and it was also highlighted by my president, President Hamaliev, and we support also the process of Turkish Armenian uh, normalization relations. But in the meantime, we support the process of synchronized and parallel development of two tracks of this process. Armenia-Azerbaijan normalization relations and also Turkish-Armenian normalization process. They should be parallel process and one is connected with another one. And also, uh, it's an open secret that with the Turkey we are consulting and coordinating all our steps in that direction. Our intentions are good and positive. And we are suggesting good neighbor relations for Armenia, but it's in a time for Armenia to assess the strategic region in the Caucasus and also made this in a decision for the good neighborly relation with the neighbors, particularly with Armenia, Azerbaijan and Turkey. And Turkey. Now I understand just recently you presented Armenia with a document which has five points on it, five steps towards normalization of relations with your own country. Can you give us an idea of what's in that document and what uh, the state of this process is at the moment in your opinion? Uh, it's yet another open secret. Well, yes, we have provided to Armenian side basic principles of uh, peace treaty, a potential peace treaty between Armenia and Azerbaijan. What are the basic principles? It simply derives from the norms and principles of international law and calls for the good neighborly relations. If we would like to establish a good neighborly relations, everything starts in a first and foremost most important decision. Armenia and Azerbaijan should recognize one another's territorial integrity, sovereignty and inviolability of uh, its international recognized borders and also refrain from use of force and threat of force against the territorial integrity. That was the case that Armenia used the force against an Azerbaijan occupying 30 years our territories. Therefore, Armenia should end this policy and also put an end to the territorial claims against an Azerbaijan and then based on that we can move over. Again, that's the entire philosophy of the basic principles. It's simply norms and principles of international law are enshrined in the uh, basic principles, including the principles deriving from the Helsinki Final Act. In recent months, relations between your country and Iran have been uh, a little bit troubled because of deliveries into Karabakh from Iran, but recently you've signed a, a memorandum of understanding. So are relations between your countries now improving? And what does this memorandum mean for the future of the region? Iran and Azerbaijan, today we are celebrating 30th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations between Islamic Republic of Iran and Azerbaijan. I can say that Iran and Azerbaijan throughout these years forged good neighborly relations and based on the cooperation and uh, uh, you know, mutually beneficial cooperation in many spheres. And uh, uh, currently between Iran and Azerbaijan based on the trust and confidence and we are continuing by both sides and putting uh, the efforts together to develop further our uh, cooperation in many uh, other spheres. And the recent memorandum from understanding also changing uh, transportation map of the wider region. Because uh, in the Ngilan region of Azerbaijan, along the Arban region, over the Arax uh, river, we are building two bridges together with the Iranian uh, counterparts, and one for highway, another for the railway, and it will enter the territory of Azerbaijan, uh, Iran, and while using Iranian territory as a transit, along with the Mehri or Zengazur corridor, and it will go to the Nakhchivan region of Azerbaijan, and via Nakhchivan will have a linkage. In other words, Turkey, Iran, and Azerbaijan are going to be linked through railways and through the highways as well. Along with that, we are also uh, together with the Iranian counterparts and also Turkey is also involved in that process, we are looking forward to building electricity line as well because Azerbaijan is becoming electricity exporter and uh, demands for the electricity in Turkey and Iran and in Europe is raising as well. And we also do see it as a potential for the digital connectivity as well. In general, it's yet another important connectivity project for the wider region. 
And again, Armenia, uh, again uh, it also bypasses Armenia, and Armenia stays uh, behind all of this regional connectivity development as well, as we are discussing with Armenia almost one and a half year about the Zengezer corridor, because this corridor almost runs in parallel to Zengezer corridor, not so to Armenia. We cannot wait for the whims of Armenia when Armenia will make its you know, final decision about an you know, opening of connectivity lines along the Zengezer corridor. It's going to happen, we know that, but we cannot lose the time. And also diversification in connectivity is crucially important. That's also policy of Azerbaijan. We are building diversified lines of you know, communication and connectivity. Okay, Ikmet Hajiev, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.